everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 25th of march 2022 starting with very first question section which was seen in the news recently is an offshore petrol vessel of which armed force so the indian coast guard has commissioned the indian coast guard ship section which is the fifth coast guard ship in the series of 105 m class offshore petrol vessels so this is the fifth and the last offshore petrol vessel designed and developed by goa shipyard limited for the coast guard and the vessel uses totally indigenous steering gear and gear boxes which was being imported earlier okay now let's see some of the important questions regarding vessels and we ram prasad bismil recently became the longest vessel ever to sail on which river so this vessel recently sailed on brahmaputra river where was the 22nd missile vessel squadron also known as killer squadron formally established it has been established in mumbai sandhayak first indigenous large survey vessel was launched by which company it was launched by garden reach shipbuilders under sagar mission indian navy's offshore petrol vessel ins savitri arrived the chattogram harbor at which country so this harbor belong to the country bangladesh what is the name of the operation launched by the indian navy to protect indian vessels in the gulf region the name of this operation was operation sankalp you have to tell me what is the name of the operation that has been launched by the government of india to protect our indian citizens who are there in ukraine do let me know in the comments which is the indian navy's oldest hydrographic survey vessel that has been decommissioned recently so ins sandhayak has been decommissioned last year offshore petrol vessel sajak has been commissioned to which armed force it has been commissioned to indian coast guard right now the next question is and birin singh was sworn in as the chief minister of which indian state So N Birin Singh was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Manipur for the second consecutive term, and the oath of office was administered by the Manipur Governor La Ganesan. So in the recently held assembly polls, the Bharatiya Janata Party won the absolute majority by winning 32 seats in the 60-member House. Okay. Now let's see the name of the Chief Minister of some particular states. which were in news bhagwant man swan in as the chief minister of which indian state so recently he has become the chief minister of punjab ungali oruvan one among you is the autobiography of the chief minister of which state so this book is the autobiography of mr m k stalin who is the chief minister of the state tamil nadu hemanand biswal was the first tribal chief minister of which state he was the first tribal chief minister of odisha now there is one more important book called as pride prejudice and punditry it has been authored by shashi tharoor and shashi tharoor books are always very very important for your exams so do remember the name of this book which state chief minister launched the all india federation for the social justice answer is tamil nadu Buddha Dev Bhattacharjee who refused the Padma Bhushan award was the chief minister of which state 
so he was the chief minister of west bengal and in the month of january he was referred the padma bhushan award but he refused to accept it and the other two personalities who have refused to accept the padma awards are first is legendary singer sandhya mukherjee and second name in this list is tabla exponent anindya chatterjee okay so talking about padma awards the president has announced the padma awards 2022 on the occasion of 73rd republic day and 128 people have been honored for this year important thing is padma bhushan has been conferred on the global heads of microsoft and google as well who's that for microsoft it is satya nadella and for google mr sundar pichai also the vaccine makers cyrus punawala from the serum institute of india and krishna ella and sujitra ella from bharat biotech they have also received the padma awards can you tell me who has been recently conferred with param vishisht seva medal please answer me in the comments last question says gujarat chief minister launched the gujarati version of which microblogging site answer is ku next question when is the world poetry day observed every year so the world poetry day is observed every year on 21st of march and this day was first started by unesco what is the full form of unesco united nations educational scientific and cultural organization and the world poetry day aims to support linguistic diversity through poetic expression and increase the opportunity for endangered languages to be heard right now talking about some of the important days march 23 is observed as shaheed divas to commemorate the death anniversary of which freedom fighter answer is very famous bhagat singh when is the international day for the elimination of racial discrimination observed this is observed on march 21st when is the world sleep day observed every year it is observed on march 18 when is the international day of action for rivers observed it is observed on march 14 when is the international mother language day observed across the world we celebrate this day on february 21 when is the world radio day observed every year february 13 indian national women's day is observed every year to commemorate the birth anniversary of which personality so this day is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of sarojini naidu when is the international day of women and girls in science observed every year this is observed on february 11th you have to tell me when do we observe national science day and what was the theme for the year 2022 next question khanij bidesh india limited that is kabil is a joint venture company formed to ensure the critical supply of which product so kabil is a joint venture company of three public sector enterprises which are these first is nalco means national aluminium company limited second is hindustan copper limited and third is mineral exploration company limited so recently an mou was signed on cooperation in the critical mining sector which was signed by kabil and australia's critical mineral facilitation office okay so here correct answer would be critical minerals now let's talk about some of the companies that were in news first question says pepsi company will invest 500 crores in which district of bihar answer is begu sarai dredging corporation of india has partnered with which company to build the first indigenous dredger so the first indigenous dredger would be built by dredging corporation of india in cooperation with cochin shipyard limited Which Indian company is the second fastest growing retailer in the world as per the 2022 Deloitte report? Answer is Reliance Retail. Which Indian telecom company is the official broadcast connectivity provider of Formula 1? So the official broadcast connectivity provider of Formula 1 is Tata Communication. Which company launched India's first fuel cell electric vehicle? This is Toyota. as of 2022 which is the largest coal producing company in india so the largest coal producing company in india is right now mahanadi coal fields limited 
And last question says, which is the first company to launch a health insurance for the pet dogs and emergency pet minding cover? Answer is Future General India Insurance. Okay. Next question, Cyclone Asani, which was seen in the news recently, has hit which state or union territory of India? So heavy rainfall and strong winds hit Andaman and Nicobar Islands as a deep depression intensified over the North Andaman Sea as per the Indian Meteorological Department. So the deep depression intensified into a cyclonic storm named as Cyclone Asani and made landfall near the port city of Thandwe in Myanmar. Okay. Now in the next slide, we'll see some of the important cyclones that hit the earth recently. First question says, which country has been hit by Cyclone Emnati? Answer is Madagascar. Cyclone Batsirai has recently hit which country? So these two cyclones hit Madagascar consecutively. What is the name of the cyclone that hit Oman? And it is an offspring of the cyclone Gulab. Answer is Cyclone Shaheen. What is the name of the third ever September cyclone which developed in the Bay of Bengal? This was Cyclone Gulab. And it hit Andhra Pradesh and the adjoining coast of Croatia. Which Indian institution has developed a technique to detect the cyclone formation in the North Indian Ocean region? So this has been developed by IIT Kharagpur. Which country has given the name Yas to the cyclone in the Bay of Bengal? The term Yas has been given by the country Oman. And this cyclone hit Odisha coast and West Bengal. And it was formed in Bay of Bengal. Which country has coined the name Tokte for the cyclone in the Arabian Sea? So this name was given by the country Myanmar and hit the southern Gujarat basically. And it was emerged from Arabian Sea. So this was classified as very severe cyclonic storm. What are the cyclones in the Atlantic Ocean called? So the cyclones that are formed in the Atlantic Ocean are known as hurricanes. What are the cyclones in the South China Sea and the Western Pacific called? So at these two places, if the cyclone gets formed, it is termed as typhoons. Now you have to tell me which type of cyclone are known as willy willy. Do let me know in the comments. Next question. Which is the venue of FASA International Championships World Para Athletics Grand Prix 2022? So the 13th FASA International Championships World Para Athletics Grand Prix has commenced in Dubai and a 29 member Indian team led by Para Olympian Dharam Deer will take part in this tournament along with around 500 para athletes from 43 nations. Okay. Now let's talk about some of the important venues. What is the venue of the Council of the Foreign Ministers Meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation? The venue for this event is Islamabad in Pakistan. Which is the venue of the India Global Forum event in 2022? Answer is Bangalore. Which is the venue of the 2022 ICC Women's Cricket World Cup? It would be held in New Zealand. Which is the venue of Swachhagraha event jointly organized by Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Jal Shakti and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. First of all, do remember that this event is to be co-hosted by three ministries, Culture, Jal Shakti and Housing and Urban Affairs and this is to be hosted by New Delhi. Which is the venue of the 2022 ISSF World Cup? Answer is Cairo in Egypt. Which company according to the counterpoint technology market research will be the world's leading chip maker by revenue in 2021. So this would be Samsung Electronics. So recently it has overtaken the company Intel to become the most popular company in the category of semiconductors, right? Can you tell me Samsung company belong to which country? Which is the venue of Dev Yatnam and Odyssey of Indian Temple Architecture Conference? Answer is Hampi in the state of Karnataka. Which is the venue of DEF Expo 2022 Defense Exhibition? Answer is Gandhi Nagar in the state of Gujarat, right? Next question. Which Indian won the second place in the All England Open Badminton Championship 2022? So Indian tennis player 
लक्ष्य सेन वन द सेकेंड प्लेस इन द ऑल इंग्लैंड ओपन बैडमिंटन चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी एंड वर्ल्ड नंबर वन विक्टर एक्सलसन डिफीटेड द लक्ष्य सेन इन द मैन सिंगल्स फाइनल मैच दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन बिरमिंगम एंड वुमेन सिंगल्स टाइटल वॉज क्लिच बाय जपैंस यामा गुझी अकनिंग एंड मैंस डबल्स टाइटल वॉज वन बाय इंडोनेशिया वाई वुमेन्स डबल्स टाइटल एंड मिक्स डबल टाइटल आर वन बाय जपैन ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट सम स्पोर्ट रिलेटेड करेंट अफेयर्स विथ सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ सीनियर नेशनल चेस चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी So the host for this championship is Kanpur. Which Indian state is the host of second SAAF and National Cross Country Athletics Championship? Answer is Nagaland. Who is the first Indian male badminton player to reach the finals of Badminton World Federation World Badminton Championship? Answer is K. Shrikant. Which racing driver won the Formula One World Championship title? Answer is Max Verstappen. Which chess player won the FIDE World Championship? Very famous, Magnus Carlsen. Which country he belonged to? Norway. Jili Tala Behera, who won a gold medal in the Commonwealth Championship, is associated with which sport? Answer is weight lifting. Which country won the SAFF Football Championship that was held in Mali? So we have won this. Answer is India. Who has won the silver in women's long jump at the World Athletics Under 20 Championships? Answer is Shaili Singh. Okay. Now next question: Which Indian cricketer has been presented the prestigious Sports Icon Award? So former India cricketer Suresh Raina has been conferred with the prestigious Sports Icon Award at the Maldives Sports Award 2022. and he was nominated along with 16 international sports person including the former sri lankan captain and cricketer sanath jayasurya former real madrid player roberto carlos jamaican sprinter asafa powell and dutch football legend edgar davids okay now talking about some cricket related news Which Indian cricketer recently became the highest wicket taker in the history of the women's World Cup? Answer is Jhulan Goswami. Next is who is the first Indian woman cricketer to appear at six ICC Women's Cricket World Cup? Answer is Mithali Raj. Which cricketer has the highest wicket haul that is eight hundred wickets in Test matches? Who is that? Murli Dharan. Who is the only Indian cricketer to feature in the ICC T20I Team of the Year for 2021? Smriti Mandhana. Indian cricketer Rishabh Pant has been appointed as the brand ambassador of which state? So he has been chosen as the brand ambassador of the state Uttarakhand. Which cricketer recently became the first Indian player to hit century and 50 on the Test debut? This is Shreyas Iyer. Which Indian cricketer has been appointed as the chairman of the ICC Men's Cricket Committee in 2021? Answer is Saurav Ganguly. Which Indian cricketer, also an ICC Elite Panel Match referee, has been awarded the life membership of the MCC, that is Marylebone Cricket Club? Answer is Jagdal Shrinath. Now talking about Saurav Ganguly, recently the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Mr. Ashok Gehlot. and Saurabh Ganguly who is the BCCI president laid the foundation stone of world's third largest cricket stadium in Jaipur and it will be the second largest cricket stadium in India and the third largest in whole world which is the world's largest stadium it is Narendra Modi stadium which was formerly known as Motera stadium where in Ahmedabad and the second largest stadium in whole world is Australia's Melbourne Cricket Ground, right? Now this would be the third largest cricket ground in whole world. Next question: The Women Transforming India Awards 2022 were conferred on how many women achievers? So Niti Aayog has organized the fifth edition of Women Transforming India Awards in March 2022. 
एज पार्ट ऑफ आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव द डब्ल्यू टी आई अवार्ड वर कन्फर्ड ऑन सेवेंटी फाइव वुमेन अचीवर्स टू सेलिब्रेट दियर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स अ सशक्त और सामर्थ भारत so these 75 awardees were chosen on the basis of nominations received on niti ayog's women entrepreneurship platform and through shortlisting by a search and select committee okay now we will see some of the important news regarding women first is which country tops the list in south asia in terms of women on board of listed companies this has been topped by bangladesh bhumika shreshtha who won the international women of Courage Award 2022 is from which country? She belongs to Nepal, and this is very important question. International Day of Women Judges was first celebrated in which year? So this year in 2022, we have decided to celebrate International Day of Women Judges every year now. Gundla Pochampalli Railway Station declared all women employees railway station is in which state? It is in the state of Telangana. Which state government recently instituted the Sushma Swaraj Award for honoring the achievements of women? So this category has been brought up by Haryana. What is the theme of International Women's Day 2022? You have to tell me when do we celebrate this day? And the theme for this year is Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow. And last question is which is the venue of the 2022 ICC Women's Cricket World Cup. The venue for this event is New Zealand. And apart from this, uh, the 2028 Olympic Games would be hosted by Los Angeles. And now you have to tell me what is the venue of the 2032 Olympic Games. Last question: Which city is the host of Wings India 2022 conference? So, Ministry of Civil Aviation and FICI. are jointly organizing the wings india 2022 which is the asia's largest event on civil aviation so it focuses on new business acquisition investment policy formation and regional connectivity so hyderabad which is also called as the hub of aviation is the host of this event and as part of the country's azadi ka amrit mahotsav the theme of the event is india at the rate 75 new horizon for aviation industry okay so let's see some of the important questions regarding host and conference at the 17th annual banking technology conference and awards which bank recently received three awards so three awards have been given to the karnataka bank in this event which institution jointly conducted the ocean 2022 conference and exposition this has been jointly conducted by IIT Madras along with National Institute of Ocean Technology it works under Ministry of Earth Sciences which is the venue of Devayatnam an odyssey of indian temple architecture conference venue of this event is hampi in the state of karnataka which country has not sent its delegation to the munich security conference 2022 which was that russia India recently held a high level conference on renewable energy along with which block so india has held this high level conference on renewable energy with asean what does asean stands for association of south east asian nations you have to tell me how many member countries are there in asean which country has organized the asia ministerial conference on tiger conservation answer is malaysia and last question says Which city hosted the national conference on tuberculosis? New Delhi. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minuzat sana signing off